Red Lantern for me, when I open the doors, is still Red Lantern today. It's um, it's my it's my dining room. You know, it's my home. You come in here, and the warmth, and the um, the professionalism, and the um, the hospitality is what I focus on. So, for me, Red Lantern is very intimate, and it's a great dining experience. There's a lot of love here. Uh, we came to Australia in 1978. Uh, my father was a high-ranking officer in the Vietnam War um, and when the South fell to the North, my parents felt there was no future for our family in Vietnam um, and we knew the consequences of, of my father being caught. And so my father, at the time, with his best mate, built their own boat and um, both families um, escaped and we became um, boat refugees. Uh, we were put in um, a hostel in, in Villawood where um, lots of Vietnamese immigrants came and, and were, uh, were housed there. Um, and my, my parents were, you know, washing dishes and trying to look after the kids and were just waiting for an opportunity to get a job or to get um, a home. I had, a, I had a, an idea and a dream and a concept and um, I was sick of talking about it. <laughs> you know, I want to open a restaurant. It's gonna have, it's gonna be red, and it's gonna be vibrant. It's gonna be really cool, and uh, it's gonna have this amazing food. And I kept talking about it. Whereas one day, I just woke up and said, "Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yes, I have no financial backers. I don't have that much money. What I do have is passion, love for what I do, and um, I'm just gonna do it." Actually, when I opened the doors. In 2002, we had $100 left in the bank account. Um, so if I didn't have bums on seats that night, I would have been in big trouble. And it was a manic kind of day. Um, we, I, I didn't have enough money for the till, for the float. <laughs> so it was a really, it was a really um, crazy evening. Um, but the, at the end of the day, we were like, wow, put the chairs up. We were full. The first year we opened, we won Best New Restaurant um, in Sydney and we've won um, Best Asian Restaurant three years in a row now. And we won the third one, the hat trick, uh, just a few weeks ago, so we're, we're really ecstatic about that. And uh, also Best Debut Writer for, for the, our first cookbook. Uh, my visions for the future, um, well, right now, um, I'm working on my second book, so it's a, it's, a tr it's a travel cookbook through Vietnam. Eventually, I wanna open other little lanterns, you know, um, not big ones, but little enough so there is that that intimacy that's still there and that you know that attention to detail. Yeah, actually, in um, in January, I'm um, going to Vietnam to do a, a travel cooking show through ten different regions. Um, I've come from a poor uh, migrant family, and I've taken the passion of food, and that's all I have. And look where we are today, you know. Um, it's a hard industry, as I've mentioned before, but you keep going because you love it. Passion is what we all have here at Red Lantern, and um, it really shows when you walk through the door because there's a, there's a vibe and there's an energy that is, is quite special and unique.